Bruh. Indy, how do I start a video? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me answer that for you. Hey guys, welcome back. It's great to see you. After all this time, I forgot how beautiful you were. <laughs> Anyway, today I'll be taking you through the very entertaining process of creating an Elton John inspired suit for my sister to wear to an Elton John concert. I love to say this was fun creating, but it wasn't. First of all, I have never made any type of jacket before and I don't know why, I guess I just enjoy the chaos, but I like never use patterns. So this will get interesting to say the least. Wow, I know right, I'm, I'm pretty crazy. To begin my journey, I threaded my sewing machine and drew up my design as well as a basic idea of the pieces I needed to make the puzzle of life. I then stole one of my dad's suits, put it on my sister and stared at it to, to better understand it, to get in the mindset of the suit, to think like the suit, to be like the suit. Whoa. Did you hear that? I think the suits are coming for me. FBI, open up! I know too much. I know too much. Please, please help me. <laughs> I decided to start off with the back panels because I had no clue what I was doing and it seemed pretty easy to start off with. I cut out the back shape and suddenly realized that if I cut it in half, I can use it as a guide for the front panels. If I just add like a bit of an extra triangle thingy to the inner bit, then it'll just be the front bit and I'll have a collar. What? I'm so smart. So that's what I did. I laid it onto the fabric and I cut out my beautiful triangle shape to make a beautiful collar. Then I draped it onto my mannequin thingy and sewed along the back and on the sides I did it about three quarters of the way to like make room for the armholes. Because if you don't have armholes, it's no longer a jacket, it's a potato sack. <laughs> I sewed along the top leaving a gap for the neck and trimmed off the excess fabric around the arms on both the lining and outer crust of my jacket. I made a little strip of fabric to go around the neck as part of the collar and forced my sister to try it on. She dropped her earbud thingy on the ground and I find that quite funny. Don't, don't mind my laugh. <laughs> I cut out the same colour thing for my lining, then stuck the layers together to get a glimpse into what the jacket is looking like and how it's going to turn out. Ooh. And I thought it looked pretty good so I continued. I tested out this gold sequin trim because I thought it would look good, but to be honest it was looking a bit too costumey and wasn't really the vibe I was going for. The vibe I was going for is actually 80s game show hosts, so I did the length of my sister's arm, cut out the sleeves, basing the width off of the armholes I had already made, which was quite a bad idea. And I ended up making the sleeves way too thick. I mean, I didn't know there was such thing as being too thick. <laughs> oh well. Then I sewed the sleeves on the outer crust. A flipping bobbin <laughs> ran out and that really annoyed me. OMG, look at my crusty dusty sewing machine. Yo, <laughs> look at that bobbin go. <laughs> Then I could finally do the same with my lining. Sew on the arms. I forgot what they were called for a second. Arms? By this time, I had been sewing all day. I am very slow at sewing. I kept on stuffing up the sleeves and I had to keep on unpicking it and re-sewing it and I was getting so freaking annoyed frustrated i was feeling so tired i just wanted to give up so i did hey guys i just woke up not long ago so i'm very tired 
it's day two of sewing the Elton John inspired jacket. That's right, it's day two of making the Elton John inspired jacket. Previously, I had finished sewing the outer crust and was ready to sew on the sleeves for the lining. After sewing on the sleeves, I stacked the good sides of the outer and inner crust together so they were facing one another. I pinned and sewed along the edge from the bottom of the inner bit, around the collar, and back down. Not the bottom, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to flip it inside out. I really stuffed up the collar. It was bubbly because I thought I could get away with not cutting the lining as much as the outer crust. But I don't care, okay? The collar was also bunched up because I hadn't cut slits where the sharp angles were. So that made sense. Thought it may look better if I sew along the seam on the outside as well. So that's what I did. I then sewed around the sleeves and added in some shoulder pads because it wasn't looking very structured. It didn't really make much of a difference though. Look at that fluff, it was actually everywhere. Why did I have to use such annoying, fraying fabric? Then I think it was looking really good and all I had left to do was sew the bottom. And there's the back. Oh yeah, um, I was gonna add pockets, but I got too scared since I had to cut a hole in the fabric that, as you already saw, frays crazy. Frays so much, and I didn't want it to all fall apart because I, uh, I would cry. Then it was done! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. The video's not over yet. Now it's time to complete side quests. So I took the gems from the wizard and created some cool earrings. So I took the scissors and gave them to a hairdresser who turned me into a beautiful princess. Say goodbye. Adios, my babes. <laughs> that is embarrassing for you. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. So I took the more fabric and crafted a matching top.
I'm going to the concert in a few days. I hope you enjoyed the video. Put in some clips and images from the concert. Uh, adios. Don't, don't kill me.